Hello. Hi, Penny. Come on in. You can do it. You can push the door. Yes, you can. Do you want to come up and say hello? Penny. I know. Do you want to come up and say hello? Come here. Penny, 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 Penny. Come here. Over here. I can't reach you there. I can't reach you there. Come here. Come here. Yes, I can reach you there. There's Penny. There we are. Yes, indeedy. Penny, we're going to look at it. You know, they're just drive. Oh, we got a little mat there. I want to go up here. I want to go up here and look around a bit. There's not a whole lot of space. You see the lava lamp? Hmm? You see the lava lamp? Do you? That seems to be working pretty well. But we've got a disk drive here that's not working very well. So we've got to have a look at it. And I don't think the CAT scan's going to help today. I don't. But if you give me a few minutes, I'll come downstairs. We'll see what's up. I think there's fresh food and water in your bowls. I think. Where are you going? Where are you going? Penny, Penny, don't knock things down, please. Should I put you down so I can get to this drive? Hey, 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 no, 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 okay, are you going to jump? Are you going to, I can get you down, I can get, as I said, I can get you down. There goes Penny. You okay, Penny? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, so this drive. 1541, made for the Commodore 64, made for the VIC-20, worked on the Commodore 128, did all kinds of things. Oh, here's a warranty sticker put on by somebody besides Commodore. I will have to look at this. This was a standard practice at some point, because of course there were unscrupulous people who would get something, swap out the guts, and then return it. I think mostly those people probably dealt with stores like Eaton's and Zeller's and well, why is this feeling strange? Is there a screw in there? Well, I suppose one way to tell to try and lift it. Yeah, there it is. I've had this before. screws I had before that had rather mangled heads. Ah, are gone. I put them in the recycling. Somewhere I hope to find a way to something good. Ta-da! Alright, so here we have, to remind ourselves, a 1541 that refuses to read. Just to double check. Now this could be um, it could be a dirty head, or there could be something on the circuit board that is troubling. Or it could be the oops. It could be Could be that the read right head is just dead. So here we have a Q tube. And actually here's a funny thing, maybe I took in looking in here, the read right head is basically a white square or rectangle that has a dark line through it. That is it. And I can see it. And you know what? I might actually see some dirt on it. So I'm going to very gently take this Q-tip and put it on the head and move it back and forth and kind of twist it a bit to get an 
nice coverage. Let's see if anything comes off in terms of what I think I'm seeing. And when I pull the Q-tip out, do I see... Oh yeah, I see some dirt. Oh, a mansion. Maybe. It's, it's rare. Often the dirt is kind of microscopic. And you don't really see anything. But in this case, it's just kind of on the white area that I see an area that's not white. So I'm going to do some more twisting in there. Mostly side to side, but, you know, just twisting, getting, if there is hope, I think I still see some dirt on the second run through. Hmm. Imagine. Let me get my glasses. And my Apple powered flashlight. Hmm. Well, it's better. But I still, and I don't think it really matters, but I still see a thing. So, is that thing making a difference? I don't know. But, as I said, it's rare to actually clean a head and actually see anything. Not that it doesn't happen. Obviously, it's happening. So I'm going to focus on the little dark spot. Let's see if I can get it to go away. flashlight and indeed it's looking better like it's gone I also see some smuts further down around the head which would make no difference but just because I happen to be here with a q-tip I might just have a little go at that there's some more schmutz but not on the head around. Now, how long does it take for the head to dry? I don't know. I don't. So on the board, see, this board here is a, I would say it's a two-thirds, three-quarter size board. So it's I don't know why, suddenly decided it had, had enough where it was. Anyway, oh no, 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 no. What am I banging into now? Oh, I'm banging into the toolbox. Okay, so um, with the long board that goes farther, um, I think you might actually have to take the circuit board off or certainly loosen it to get out the head. With one of these, you can just kind of reach in and get it. Let's see now. Perhaps it can shoot a quick video. 
But it does not look in focus. Let me switch around again. Maybe right there. So let's try this. Hello, welcome to the insides of the 1541 distro. Right in the middle of this frame that keeps bouncing around because my hand is shaking is the read right head. As you see, it's basically a white rectangle, perhaps a square, and there's a line down the middle. That's all there is. That would be the business part of it. If a drive is not working, it is possible that this head is different. Well, not different. Dirty. And on this 1541 moments ago, I actually did see traces of some sort of something on there, and I juiced up three different Q-tips. Uh, sorry, two Q-tips, but used three ends, so one and a half Q-tips, to cleanse the head and see. Now, will this drive work? I don't know, but that is the head. That's it, right there. All right. So now that it has had a little while to dissipate, perhaps I will be brave. Actually, first I'm going to put in my test disk, not the test demo disk, and just see, will it load this directory? Ha! Huh. And it does. So now, Time to load. PER extra quote comma H. See what happens here. It does seem to be rock solid on the drive activity light. Mostly, of course, I'm trying to think, I don't even remember how many drives I've looked at. But um, this one, it appears to have been a dirty head. Everything else seems to be in order. What's going on there? And it has five out of seven chips in sockets. Not bad. The typical ones are not. But the 6522s and the 6502R. And they are often the issue, as we found on this other drive, where it was a 6522 chip. And this one that just wouldn't read. A dirty head. Dirty, dirty. And, you know, it's funny, because there is this microscopic scunge that shows up on discs and things and stuff. I, there were some discs I was trying out a while ago, and it was just every single... Oh, I remember. Oh, it was a game. This was a while back. Every disk drive I put it in wouldn't work ever again. Because uh, I had to clean the heads. And eventually, I sliced the jacket with a sleeve for the disk. Took the disk out. Washed it in warm, soapy water. And hung it to dry. And after that, I think the game mostly worked. And it never, ever fouled the disk drive again. So, you never know, you know. So this has formatted 
and it is writing. And I suppose in some ways when I have them open I should just clean the head. I should. <coughs> so I'm going to dock them head a dirty head. But then of course you see I know the heads are delicate and I don't really like overdoing it with a Q-tip. So if I don't have to, if I don't, anyway, had a dirty head, cleaned, works, tested, December 2021. So once this is finished, I can put it back together. I think though, I may not at this second yet, because it had its issues, and because perhaps I'm not going to record anymore at this second, I will load, quote, C-H-E, asterisk, quote, comma, eight. And yes, that is still open here. I will run it and let it do its magic. So I have the documentation here. My glasses are there. See, I do hear a, a few little funny things. It's, it's not a bad thing to really let, let the big dog eat and let the drive spin. Anyway, we'll see how it is in perhaps an hour. It's almost like baking a cake. Although I think that would take less than an hour. Anyway, enough for now. Thanks for being here. We fixed yet another 1541 disk drive. Ah, see, that's, oh, that was a funny noise. That's a funny noise. Anyway, we'll let this go. We'll see what happens. Until we meet again. Thank you very much for coming. Comments are always welcome. Suggestions, observations, witticisms, criticisms. I generally answer most every... Oh, before I forget, and I don't have it right here, I got a Christmas card, and I wanted to open it up and read it. Next video. Next one. All right. Just as I listen to this drive, it is, it's some noisy, not, not the head, but once in a while, it's just making some extra noise. So yeah, I, I don't feel bad about letting this cook. <sighs> so far, it has checked about 10%, 64 blocks, track, sec, sorry, track four, sector zero, 64 blocks. I will leave it to it. We will meet again. Thank you very much for coming. Always a pleasure.